Hello friends, welcome to Kamath Astrology. In today's video, we will cover why the world is in chaos right now. We will understand the unique dance of Mars and Saturn that is happening over the last few months and which will continue over the next few months also. And why this is the reason for a lot of problems happening in the world. So let us first understand what is Saturn, what is Mars. Now Saturn is the outermost planet in the zodiac belt excluding Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. But if you consider nine planets, Saturn is the outermost planet. And therefore Saturn represents the poorest person. He represents the masses. He represents neglected people. On the negative side, Saturn represents delays. Saturn represents hurdles, obstacles, slowness, patience and old age. Now what is Mars? Mars on the other hand represents your aggression, your anger, your passion, your inner drive, the blood flowing through your body. Mars is very aggressive. Mars also represents the armed forces. He represents weapons. He represents skilled surgeons. So you can see that Mars and Saturn are exact opposites. If one is the brake of the car, the other is the accelerator. So if you try to press both the brake and the accelerator at the same time, the car is going to vibrate. So same way, when Saturn and Mars come into some relation with each other, the houses under their influence, that is the houses in which they are placed, those houses get impacted in a big way. Now let us look at what has been happening over the last few months. Now let us have a look at this chart. If you see this chart, Saturn is in Aquarius and Mars had entered the sign of Cancer or Kirk on 10th May. 2023. Now Aquarius is the Mool Tricone sign of Saturn. Saturn is very powerful here. Saturn rules this sign. On the other hand, the sign of Cancer is the debilitation sign of Mars. Mars becomes very weak here. And when Mars is in Cancer, Saturn is in Aquarius. They are forming a Shadashta cube. That is, they are at 6-8 positions from each other, which shows mutual enmity between these two planets. So this was a time when many people suffered a lot of emotional upheaval in their lives. Now coming to 1st July 2023, Mars entered the sign of Leo or Sima. And Leo or Sima represents leadership. Mars is powerful here because this is the sign ruled by his friend Sun. On the other hand, Saturn is also powerful in Aquarius and now Saturn and Mars are mutually aspecting each other. Now this mutual aspect always creates challenges. Whenever a house receives the mutual aspect of Saturn and Mars, that house faces a lot of challenges. This is the reason why across Europe right now there are a lot of challenging situations. The Russia-Ukraine war is also escalating in a big way. Now what happens when Mars enters the next sign of Kanya or Virgo on 18th August 2023? Again Mars and Saturn will form a Shadashta cube. Again it represents mutual enmity, which means that the war and the conflicts in the European region will increase in this time. Now on 3rd October 2023, Mars enters the sign of Libra or Tula. Now there is no aspect of Saturn, there is no mutual aspect. There is no Shadashtak also. But Mars will be passing over Ketu. Ketu is the karka for separation, for leaving things, for cutting off things. And Mars is the planet of violence and aggression. Tula or Libra is the sign of balance and harmony. And therefore when Mars will pass over Ketu, this balance, this harmony will completely get destroyed. We will enter a war zone. Now after this, on 16 November 2023, Mars enters the sign of Scorpio or Vrishik, the natural 8th house of the zodiac belt ruled by Mars representing transformations, representing ups and downs, representing occult sciences. 
and in this position when mars is in scorpio both mars and saturn will mutually aspect each other saturn will put the 10th aspect on the sign of scorpio and mars will put the 4th aspect on the sign of aquarius so again it is a mutual saturn mars aspect which indicates challenge in situations which indicates chaos now this situation is very dangerous therefore i am telling you all that the months from october november and september 2023 are extremely dangerous there will be a lot of chaos across the world even within india the chaos in northeast regions such as nagaland mizoram manipur will increase similarly the southern regions of kerala karnataka and tamil nadu they may also face a lot of challenging situations in this time period now whenever mars and saturn aspect each other mars is the child of the earth saturn represents the wind element mars represents the fire element so this is a time when earthquakes can also happen and therefore the months of september october november will be very challenging for the world as well as for india now when will mars meet saturn basically mars will meet saturn again in aquarius around february 5th 2024 he will enter makar and on march 15th 2024 he will enter aquarius so again the year 2024 especially the month of march will be very chaotic so friends this mutual aspect of saturn and mars and the shadashtak of mars and saturn which is continuously happening is resulting in a lot of chaos in the world and it will continue for some more time but what can we do from our end we can pray to god we can chant the name of god we can seek his guidance and hopefully things will fall in place 